Okay, so I just got home, I don't know, I think like an hour and a half ago or something. So I'm not going to talk like a super long time, but I had a bunch of stuff that I felt like I had to get out because um, tomorrow I'll gather my thoughts some more probably and um, have it make more sense maybe. I don't know. I had so many things. Like I, I, even while I was driving, you know, they'll, like they'll show me things and I want to explain them. And then... Um, I don't even know, it's so hard to explain some of this stuff, but man, all this stuff makes so much sense to me and it just, it weirds me out because, um, you know, when I go and interact with people, I'm so different than everybody and I, and it, and, it, and that just gets bigger. It doesn't get smaller. It just gets bigger. It's weird. And I limit myself, um, the people I go around, but you know, I interact with a lot of people. Like I'm not, um, shy or something. Like I used to be shy when I was a kid. I'm not shy now. I'll just talk. If I want to talk, I'll just start talking, but I don't know. Um, I just don't find people who have the same kind of awareness as me or something. I don't know. Like, like the things that I see now, it's just so, it's just so like so broad and it's all fading like it, it fades out like that's that hand thing everything fades into everything else and you know I had a lot on my mind about you know I mean that whole week and a half anything could have happened the whole time like there's all these dates that come and go and expectation around the date and stuff so and then for those of us who are paying attention to that stuff and are hyper alert, then it, it there's got to be a reason to this. This is this is what has me so like I when I was thinking about all this stuff and they just start showing me like oh, it's so hard to explain, but I know it's helpful to other people like me because the only people that I ever find they're like me or online if I didn't find the people online I swear to god I would be so confused in life I'm like I would I think I would probably start to believe I was mentally ill because in this three-dimensional reality I am considered a mentally ill person and when everybody you're around is living in the three-dimensional I totally understand now so on such another level Every time I go and spend time with people, it's like it just expands so much more of how I see and understand uh, what some of this stuff is happening. And some of the visuals that they show me are just really trippy. Like, and I, I, it's so weird because I know so much stuff is for me to understand, but there would be no reason for me to understand unless I was to help other people understand. Like, that just wouldn't make sense to me. Because it's not about, you know, being better than somebody else. It's about us all becoming great together. That's the creation of something new. The creation evolve, the evolution of what it is we're doing here, you know. And so, so you know, while I was there, because my oldest daughter. So, I spent a lot of time with the daughter who hadn't been talking to me for so long who kept moving in and moving out, moving in, moving out. And she's been having all of these things, which she's still having some stuff, but I do notice she's approaching it a lot more maturely. So, you know, I see a gradual evolution in her um, healing and growth, but it is gradual. But I got to keep thinking that all these people who are having this go so slow, that's how it's supposed to go. Like, I can't rush anybody. Like, no matter how many times I tell somebody, we'll do this, do that, and stuff like that, it doesn't make a difference because their guides are going to tell them. If somebody runs across a video like this, that's because their guides guided them to it, brought them to it, because they wanted them to hear that information because it was going to play off some other information they'd already given them. So that is like when you're speaking out publicly, that's kind of like how you're used, is you are used by them when the timing is for a certain person to hear something, then you say it for them. Like you speak it 
they speak through you kind of <clears throat> and i think that's where this whole channeling concept and channels and information you know it just depends on who and what you're channeling because if you're channeling like on tv you know it's there is some sort of aspect to everything being this ai that is making decisions for humanity because of the whole technology theory behind how these people live and that is one thing i noticed for sure is that the people who are super techie, super gamey, super into all of that like 3D stuff, they are um, the most attached to the reality. So the reality has them the most captured. Like they don't understand at all what you're saying or anything outside of that. And it's so crazy because, you know, everything's on a narrative and you can see where a narrative will hit a dead end. But then there is like when a dead end is hit is kind of like deflect or, you know, uh, laugh it off. You know, it's just it's like it's not taken serious. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's weird. You know, and that's the whole thing it takes is that questioning your reality is that, oh, yeah, that's weird. That's weird, man. And so it is, um, you know, I, to me, that is the biggest thing. But you can't push anybody into it. And I know I'm just a, I'm just a pathway. I can't go and pry anybody's eyes open and get them to hear. Jesus Christ, if it was possible, I would have done it already. Like, uh, so it's not, it's not possible. And another thing too, that I know is not possible. There's enough of us, if we were going to change something and we could create something to happen a certain way, there's enough of us that are focused on that. I don't think we can interrupt de destiny. I don't think we can interrupt a certain pattern because it's already happened. We are just coming into an awareness of experience so that we can understand and grow from it. And then how they show me all this stuff, you know, like I, I don't even see stuff, at, you know, on a spiritual level anymore. It's like past the spiritual level and it's beyond now into this like energetic level. Like it just, like your, your understanding, that must be what they talk about. Like you're leveling in the 5D, 7D, 8D, whatever all that stuff is. It's just your expansion of your mind of these concepts kind of that you can like it broadens out how you understand the world. And then the more you open your mind, the more they're going to keep showing you. <clears throat> because I'm telling you the stuff that they show me and stuff and everything they show you, it gives you a sense of peace. It doesn't scare you. It gives you a sense of like, it all makes sense. You know, it, it takes the fear away from you. The more you understand about it, you know, it's like a huge purpose, but it is a part. Um, I'm, I just know this so much how they, Sometimes they just play up on stuff they've already shown me, you know, and it is so much about consciousness and this development. Like if you think of yourself as energy and becoming conscious of itself and then having to develop, you know, there's a purpose to this planet in this controlling environment. You know, there's a purpose for your own evolution to grow and understand yourself. And so, anyways, um, you know, when I was there, and uh, I don't, see, this is what's so crazy, is, like, I don't think I'm saying anything weird or anything. Like, people who get bothered by what you say, they think that you're purposely saying something weird. It's like, no, I'm not. I'm just saying how I see things. I'm just, this is how I see things. And then they just are like... Oh my God, you're so weird or whatever. And so anyways, um, it is because people just don't understand and seeing this is as you ev like evolve is the only thing I can think of to say, but as you process through you, uh, you you lose that kind of like, you need them to understand and accept you. Like you let go of it. I let go of that. Like, I don't know, a couple levels back or something. But as you're, you kind of feel like you're gliding through this, 
and when they see or perceive in a certain way, to me, I just am like, I, I, you know, I totally understand this is the control over their, their, it's the limitations over their consciousness. It truly is like you are giving up your energy because you are dependent. Like this whole thing with independence and dependence is so huge. And I know I've talked about this before, but you know, it is so much about the for the soul's dependence and independence because you can see in this three-dimensional um one of the problems why people have such a hard time waking up is because they're so dependent they don't even understand life without this system and they're and then what they're willing to give up for having it you know and um something else just crossed my mind like I'll I'll start having a million intersections because they were showing me all this stuff like it was like bombardment that's why I was like I just got to go in and talk about some of this stuff because it's way too full it's way too much and then it starts getting to where I'm like whoa um but anyways I, when they were showing me that kind of stuff like I so I was there <clears throat> and I wasn't letting you know wasn't gonna let my feelings be hurt or anything like that one thing is for sure as you heal or as I heal, then I, I can really take notice that of how much I don't do the same things I used to. You know, my eyes are killing me. You know, I, I'm just so, you know, the dentist, if I can out my teeth, then uh, this eye doctor, surgeon, like top of the, oh, he's the best. Just only one in the whole fucking Pacific Northwest. Bullshit, fucking shit. Um, burning, like lasering off the top of my eyes, uh, because, um, how many times like, uh, there would be a, there, I was having the same thing as the bear spray or, you know, the, I felt like I was being sprayed in the eyes and their, their stuff was so covered. We were enveloped under this blanket of aluminum, like their sky is full on pink and orange. And it is so full of these weird clouds. And because it's a very open sky on some parts, so you can see really far. And so you can see that shadow. I saw that shadow again. And it, um, you, you can see it. You can tell because it's like the sky is one color. And then it goes up closer to the sun and it gets darker. The sky becomes super dark. And depending on how much sky you can see, you can see it's a huge, big, round shape up in there. And I don't know if it's like, I, I don't understand. You know, when you used to have that perspective of trying to understand, you know, the globe and all that stuff and how stuff was moving, but that we're not, and but they keep moving the sun around, then it's like, well, where is this thing that they're trying to cover all the time, but they spend so much time trying to cover it, and there's so much poison, and there's so much of those things, and then it is like a total minority place, and um, you know, anyways, my eyes were burning, just like when I was in uh, California, and so my eyes have just been, oh my god, it's been treacherous on my eyes, um, and then when I just drove, the whole first part was, um, just a total fog you couldn't see ahead and uh, then once I got up uh, to I don't know it was like 30 miles or something of fog and then it kind of became like a lighter fog where you could see a little bit through the fog but then it started this torrential downpour and that was like 200 miles so I'm just like oh my god that was intense I can't the one good thing too about the, these drives I did it has really built my confidence like you know I'm just sitting back now like <laughs> right used to when I'm in the torrential downpour part you know and I'm like up close trying to see out the windshield you know but now going through traffic I feel so much more relaxed and all, doing all these passes and all of this stuff I feel so much more relaxed than when I started this, um, having to drive myself around and stuff. But anyways, um, while I was there though, um, I was apparently uh, really irritating my daughter 
because I guess what I do, which I have no awareness of, because like I said, it's just, it's a part of me. I'm not trying to be, this is so weird how people think you're trying to be something. No, you just need to let me be who I am, you know? But then when people don't like who you are, then, um, you know, it comes to that. And so, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. So apparently everything that anybody says, somehow I turn it into, uh, you know, the truth, which I don't know. Shame on me. I don't know how to stop. Oh, like you can't, how, how do you see the truth and then just pretend it doesn't exist? And so I, my daughter even said, like, I mean, I would hate to have to just cut you off and not, but this is, you know, but this is the progressive way. And I mean, I see this over and over. I see it on TikTok. I see it all over the place. It's like a certain age range. And I really have noticed that the eighties and nineties, that was the downfall. A hundred percent. That was like where we started spiraling down really bad and really hard. And then it was like, we were, or we were power diving and now we were swooping but man, we're, we're like hitting the ground. I swear. I cannot believe how slow this is. I can't believe the dates come and go like this. I just can't even, which gave me a whole new perspective. Like, okay, it's just going to go super slow, super, super slow, super slow awakening. And maybe it's going to be, you know, in 2025, the thing's going to crash through the sky or something. I don't know. But, uh, so she was like, I, you know, she'd hate to cut me out of her life. Because of my crazy uh, t talk, you know, or whatever. I can't even remember what she called it. Because if she say, if they say, oh, you're so crazy. I'm like, you guys always say I'm crazy. And I'm not crazy. Well, I know you're not crazy, but you just say crazy stuff. It's like, it's not crazy because you haven't seen the evidence. Like, it was so wackadoo. At one point, I said something. And then they're like, oh, you shouldn't listen to social. You shouldn't get all your information off social media. And, and they don't watch the news. So they don't keep, trust anything they see on social media. They don't watch the news. So where is your information coming from? And then there was one thing, you know, and I'm sitting there saying like, uh, you know, like people who don't know, they always think that the Z guy is the good guy and the P guy is the bad guy. It's like, then why is the P guy all about freedom? And why is the Z guy all about testing on people? Like, but people don't know anything about it. So they don't like, <laughs> It's like, you gotta look deeper into shit, dude. Puck. Um, but I'm not gonna argue with people. Seriously. It's like, whatever, you know. Uh, you know. <sighs> and then there, you know, you know, when you say, like, anything. Like, my kids are just very much like, you've been saying this forever. I, you know, I'm just, it, it's bullshit, you know, whatever. Everything I say is just nonsense to them because I've been saying it too long. And they haven't seen evidence, they don't see it. And it's like, I see evidence all the time this stuff is happening. Besides all the people who are waking up and seeing the same shit I've been saying. Like, but they don't know about any of that. They don't know people are waking up. They don't know. And they don't understand when, I, you know, when I say this world has to end to start this new one and, you know, soul stuff. But anyways, when she was sitting there saying, you know, well, like I'd hate to have to, you know, cut you out of our lives or something like that, which her kids would not let her. But, um, <clears throat> but it's just weird how all my kids always just want to cut me on the lot, cut me off. Like, ah, I hate you. But I think it's just kind of like how these people have been trained. It's way too common in a certain age range. It's way too common. But um, anyway, so I, I said, look, I am not trying to say anything. I am just saying how I see things. I said, we're living in two totally different realities. And you don't understand. Like, you think your reality is real. My reality isn't real. But my reality is real. You know, they don't understand when they're saying something and telling me, like, I should look into it more. It's like, dude, I've seen your information and I've seen mine and I choose mine. It's like, you haven't seen mine. And every time I say anything, it doesn't match yours. So it's, I need, I'm crazy. And so, anyways, I was just, uh, you know, but to me, I was like, okay, well, you know, whatever. I said, 
I, you know, I'll just stop talking. And, you know, if you say something and I don't, and I know more about it, then I'll just not say anything. I'm not going to sit here and have a conversation. I'm not going to pretend something's real when I know it's not real. I can't sit here and have these crazy conversations and pretend like something's real when it's not real because it's real to you because you're living in a fantasy land. And she's like, yeah, but I want to be in this fantasy land. This is my life. This is my reality. This is how I want it. I don't want to sit here and think about the poison every time I pick something up. And I'm like, okay, I won't talk about it. You know, I won't say anything. And, uh, you know, if you say something, I just, whatever. You know, and I'm just not going to say anything. I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to play. Like, you know. But there's such an aspect of, like... Why can't you just accept me as being weird then? Like, and saying stuff like that. Why does it always come down to, I can't have you in my life? Well, she did say, you know, because it is stressful. Because I talk about stuff that stresses them out. And I'm like, yeah, um, well, it, it, see, that's the difference. It doesn't stress me out. What stresses me out more is like, I don't have anybody that is um, like me. That is interested in this stuff and we'll talk about it and stuff like everybody just wants to keep their head buried and focused on, you know, what's on TV or what their friends are doing or whatever. And it's such a different reality from mine. And I did notice so much more about how those people are all into techie stuff like technology and stuff like that. And then I did notice and that's kind of like what I started thinking about all the people when I started thinking about who I know who is the most <coughs> um, asleep or whatever, then I started thinking, well, I think um, they're all like that, you know? We're all into uh, technology. They're all into the, just this 3D existence. And, it, and uh, so then, you know, I start going into that whole thing with the stuff split. I have more about it. Stuff splitting and going and um that was another thing over there too like the frequency was giving me horrible headache and i think that there's a shift that happens when you travel around through the um different ones because i know that you're doing different things in different places and so you drive for hours you're getting all the chemicals at that place the next place so anyways um uh so to me uh, this splitting Thing. But it also can be the people who are spiritually awake. It can be just like an elevation in their lives because they start when the like kind of when the when the world shifts and you're already in that kind of like higher vibe, you know, manifesting what you want and stuff like that. Then it will kind of cut loose where it will start going in that direction. And then with all the other people who are just in the real focus on the 3D, see, everything is going to kind of crash apart in their lives. Like, it's so crazy, too, because one of my uh, granddaughters came, and she was talking about this. And I was talking about this, I swear, like five or six years ago. I've been talking about this for a while. When I started driving back and forth across Washington, was um, these asshole drivers, and they, they want you to, like, the the right lane is for truckers. It's 60 miles an hour. The left lane is for people who want to go 100, I guess. And the rest of us need to go whipping back and forth, you know, take our chance over or whatever. And um, so my granddaughter, she was saying the same thing that I had said before. It's like, that's some bullshit. If you're already going over and these people rush up on your ass and they they're coming up they can see this whole street in front of them they can whip around you you know they're the ones who are driving crazy so why are you trying to push me into driving crazy and having to whip in, in and out of traffic that's not how i want to drive and um and yeah i'm going to be passing this line over here they're going 60 miles an hour and so yeah i'm gonna be going 70 and or more you know usually going like 75 or 80 or something and then, uh, but these people who are going like 90, sometimes I swear to God, they'll go like 82 or 83 just to get you to move over. It's like, I'm not playing your games. And so I just stopped playing the games, you know? And, um, that's what my granddaughter said when she was driving. She was like, that was bullshit. I'm just not, I, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth for the people who are driving like that. 
They're going so much past the speed limit and you're coming up fast. Like you, that's your responsibility to whip in and out of the traffic, you know, not put pressure on other people to do it. And uh, so, I mean, it's so manipulative, you know, it's like gaslighting in the, on the road or something. And then, um, so when I was just driving, so I'm going in, it's totally foggy. Like you can't see in front of you. I even put my hazard lights on for a while driving. I was like, fuck. It's like where you run into a pile up, man. Luckily, there was like no traffic at that time, very minimal. Or the traffic built up, and then they did another one of those weird, like, stop. I just know this stuff is controlled. But, um, so we're driving, I go through the fog, you know, that was already tense, and then it starts with the torrential downpour. And so you're just, oh my gosh, it's just intense driving through that. And you still have these people who drive like crazy. You know, so it's in that kind of situation and this white pickup comes zooming up and gets right behind me. Like, like he's trying to just push me out of the way. And I was like, fuck off, dude. And I just kept going and he starts flashing his lights. He's probably honking. I couldn't hear over all the rain. <clears throat> and he starts losing his mind. Like, you better fucking move, Chuck. I was like, oh my gosh, dude, I wonder where you're going to go in this split. <laughs> I think I know. But, um, so then, uh, he starts doing that, like lunging at me and flashing his lights and doing all this crazy shit. And his other white truck gets next to me, so I can't go over. So then I was like, ha ha, dude. I, what do you think I'm going to do now? Slam into the side of the swim. But he, didn't, he didn't let off. No. And I'm just sitting here thinking like some of these people have lost their damn minds. Like, can you imagine driving like that in this kind of weather? And well, I, it, it was mental. And uh, so then after they went, you know, I took my time, but I finally got over and he sat there the whole time. I mean, it was like a title. Oh, he, he is not going to pass me no matter what. He's going to make me move out of his way if he has to just slam into my car. I was like, those are the kind of people, I'm telling you, when this split happens, they are not going to be going into high vibration. That is low vibration behavior. That is low vibration to just be expecting everybody to move out of the way for you. And then, um, and then, you know, I mean, just my whole attitude too. Like I could have been like, oh, I'm going to just go. But to me, I'm feeling pushed and manipulated by these road warrior hog people who just want to just, you know, control the road, especially with their big pickups. You know, um, I, I just, uh, you know, I don't know. I think we got to make a stand on some things, but I'm not going to, you know, go to fight to the death over it or something but still uh, I don't know to me when this stuff splits it's gonna be people like that that are just you know instigators and just bullies and whatever whatever they got going on you know I I, I just don't know like I, I just can't even believe how many dates come and go now it's even the deadline for the Joe Buck thing like is that even going to be a thing? Like, who knows? I can't even, like, this is so mental how this goes on and on and on. So, um, anyways, uh, whatever, when they were showing me about the split is kind of like, like the three dimensional focus, it just kind of splits away. Like, they can keep focusing on it, but it kind of is like a fading away. Like they are going to have to be pulled into this like higher minded thinking, you know, because that is fading away. That's going away. And so everybody's going to have to keep waking up. I mean, there's no way around that, you know, and, um, uh, and I don't know if some people are just vibing so low that I, I, I don't know. Like some of these people, if it's going to just split like that, I keep thinking that things are going to just keep waking people up like abruptly. To me, when I see people who are asleep, 
then I always think, oh, something bad's going to happen. Oh, because, um, you know, that's kind of how it works. Everything is collapsing to make you wake up and question your reality. And if you're not questioning your reality, then something's going to collapse. Something's going to fall apart. Because that is the whole point, is to wake you up. And um, I don't know, it's just so weird how, because it isn't just like talking about it. Like, her reality is seriously so much different than my reality. All of them, everybody's, it seems like. My reality is just way, way different than Especially the stuff I see is just so beyond what other people even think about. And then, um, so if, um, uh, what was I about to say? Um, uh, I'm just, and plus sleeping on the couch the whole time and everybody's staying up much later. And then Stella, that, she still gets up early. So I was just getting less and less sleep. I'm so excited. Uh, now, just if I want to go to sleep, I can go to sleep right now if I want to. As soon as I finish doing this, then maybe I will um, get my fire going better. But um, there was something I was going to say about the, the split. Um, well... And uh, another thing I wanted to say was, um, so they watch different shows than me. And um, one thing is, is uh, I don't most, most, there are so, some things that just is like, oh, you, some things you just can't get away from. And it just is like, comes at you over and over and over and over. But, um, not, you know, some things I just like, I don't even know what am I supposed to do with that. I am just a crazy person. Why the universe spends so much time bringing me information, bringing me information about some things. But um, one of the shows was this movie. It's a new movie called Duel, I think. D-U-A-L. And it is a, a, about cloning. And it, so they're bringing it forth, you know, as an ethical thing, like... Well, you know, you don't want your parents or your friends and family to be sad when you die. Just go get yourself cloned. You know, so that's what the movie's about. And then there's a battle with the clones because well, it's the whole thing. So that one. And then there was another one they were watching called Wednesday. It's a new show on Netflix. It's kind of like the new Sabrina kind of girl. Only it's Wednesday from the Addams Family. But it's the same kind of thing, you know, like the switchy thing, going to the school and you know, the other kids and all this stuff. And I, so I only saw like a little bits, you know, like uh, in pieces. But in this one part that I saw, it, it definitely had all of the these hooded figures in there to do a ritual and stuff like that. And um, talking about them, at, you know, from the ancient beings and the... There was a, something how they explained them. To me, it was very much like that is disclosure right there. They put that in there about, and they kind of always do it like superheroes or um, gods or something. But really, it is just your your abilities that you become aware of, the stuff that you become aware of as you evolve. And people who are not evolved to just look at everything as three-dimensional, they think that something is evolved as being a god because it can do these special things. It's like, well, you can do these special things. You just don't want to work on that. You're just, you know, enjoying the scenery. Because, uh, you know, it was, it was just weird. But, you know, how they'll just be so focused on it and don't want to see it. And then I, I just have to keep pulling back. Like, this is... I, I'm not... I don't, it's rude of me to put how I see things on other people. If I see things, you know, and I'm looking at everything, you know, doomsday, whatever, like, oh, that's got poison, that's got poison, that's got poison, like, you know, and that's, you know, scary to some people, then, you know, I, you know, I'm told downer, <clears throat> you know, I'm bursting their bubble. And I don't want to be going around bursting everybody's bubble, 
you know, so I do have to stay in my own lane on the, the stuff, you know, I can't just put it on somebody else, but then you have to stay true to your own self. Like there's so much like intricate balance in these, um, kind of these positions as things change and, and how your soul sees things, you know, and, and guides you and shows you. And it always makes things looser, not tighter. Everything becomes looser. And so, you know, it's how you just start taking away judgment. You take away anger. You take away, you know, it just keeps going away and going away. <clears throat> and uh, so I can totally see, you know, it's not my, um, you know, if, if I'm... I, I don't know if I'm here for something different. I don't know if I'm here for a different time. I don't know if they're just here for the collapse of the 3D and I'm here for the picking up for the new world. Like, and, and so it isn't right for me to talk about what I see because what I see is completely different. What I see is what I'm shown. And what I see is what I'm supposed to see. And when nobody is seeing what I see, then it is just... um. You know, I, it's something I just got to let go of, you know. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's just, it's so weird. Just when all the people who are in that reality just think those of us who are awake and are just crazy. It's just, but in that reality, you know, that is what crazy people are. They don't, they do things different. They look at things different and stuff. You know, they talk to people who aren't there. They listen to people who aren't there. So, anyways, um, I don't even know if I'm making any sense. So, I will uh, come back in the morning. I'm home. It's nice to be home, I swear. It was nice to go visit, and I really do like that. Just going and being kind of impulsive, you know, like not setting limitations on myself. And, you know, one thing, too, is you grow and stuff things just become more clear like that. Like you, you just start seeing like how we limit ourselves and how we, our expectations that we create limit ourselves. And we got to just be more open to experiences and seeing what, you know, the experience is there to show you or teach you. And there was a lot of stuff. I'm sure some of it will make more sense to me. Like, cause I, like I said, I'm not making sense, but the, um, there was a couple of other things too that I saw on the shows, but um, they just watched way different ones because they watch a lot of um, those reality ones, like Mar married a fiance, sixty second fiance, and stuff like that. Um, love after lockup. So you know, we're always see some of that kind of stuff. It's always interesting to see what people watch you know because people always think i watch such weird stuff people think it's so weird that i go on youtube and watch youtube all the time but i told my daughter i was like oh my god you can go and you can have the tune the binaural binaural tune the meditation music you can have nature stuff you can have movies you can have all ranges of movies you can have people teaching things speaking about things it's like it's so versatile it's like a, anything that you're in the mood for. The only thing I don't like so much is the commercials. I wish they'd quit doing all the commercials. Plus, they do the same damn ass commercials over and over. And the three-minute uh, Medicare commercial and stuff. And then some of the commercials. Oh, my God. It's just ridiculous. I, I'm so disgusted by commercials. You know, I just really like, why are you even on here trying to sell me anything? If I was looking for it, then I would go look for it. And go look for the merchandise. I don't need you to constantly be selling me shit and sh shoving it down my throat. Oh, that was the other thing too. I, one of their shows they watch is um, the cooking ones, like all these different cooking ones. And they're the Bake Off, the this is English Bake Off show or something. And you know, I've seen it a few times when I've gone to visit them. But now they have this new character on it. <laughs> A freaking trans care. It's like, oh my God, this never stops. Like they just shove everything down our throats. Like they force change. They force what they want things to be. 
And then you try and tell people, like, well, you know, why the pharmaceutical company does what it does. Wow, well, that's crazy. <laughs> Don't talk crazy. It's like, oh, okay. Well, I, I just as weird when you just really know, like, what these people have to wake up to and how much they're all dragging their feet. And I just, I, I mean, there's no way go to keep going. I and mean, there's going to be the the major collapse is going to happen. I mean, it's happening slow as fuck, but it's still it's going to happen. There's no going backwards. It will happen. It's all going to collapse. There will be nothing to hold on to. And I I even see like so many different people. Like I didn't go on TikTok hardly um at all. Like if I'm with people, I don't get on my phone and stuff. Um but the couple of minutes or whatever that I did see like a lot of people just are very much like it's the end of the world it's the end of the world get right with Jesus and get right with God and like it's not just the Christians saying that it's like a lot of different people but see that then to me that's where I'm to the point of like well you know maybe all these people are really gonna just be leaving like maybe that's what they don't see like maybe that is like, I don't know. All we can do is just keep waiting and seeing. Like, we don't have much choice over that. And it's going to keep going slow. I hope that something will happen this weekend. Like, I can't even believe it's almost December. It's almost 2023. It's almost December. Oh, it's mental. So, anyways, I'll be back in the morning. Maybe I'll be more coherent. But... Anyways, hopefully you guys all had a good holiday and everybody got along. But there was a few other things, too, that I want to talk about. Because I think, you know, some people, they do go around and they either feel judged or confused. Because, you know, people think they're crazy and they're talking crazy.